Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends. Happy Blessed Wednesday. So today I feel led to have us read in our devotions through Psalm 31, three verses, verses three to five, and then end with verse 19. And I wanna just walk us through this. The psalmist says to God, you are my rock and my fortress. He makes that declaration. It says, for the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. We all fall into dangers in life. And the Lord will lead us out. The psalmist asking for that, but he's saying, do it, Lord, for the honor of your name. It's important to understand that God works in our lives, not only for our good, but for his glory, for his honor. Pull me, he says, from the trap my enemies set for me, the enemy will not only set traps for us, but sometimes we fall into those traps, don't we? He says, pull me from the trap. For I find protection, he says, in you alone. The Lord will deliver us out of the traps that sometimes we fall into, that the enemy or our enemies have set for us. But he does that. He delivers us. He protects us because of his presence. We're looking to his presence, not other people, not anything else for our deliverance. Then he continues and says, I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. Jesus quoted this on the cross, didn't he? I entrust my spirit into your hand. And of course, the Lord rescued him, faithful God, it says here. Jesus knew that God the Father was faithful. The cross was a trap from the enemy. But what the enemy didn't know is also part of God's divine sovereign purpose for the salvation of the world. And so the Jesus is the greatest example of deliverance that he went through willingly the pain and the suffering and the sacrifice that he made on behalf of us. And in the midst of that, he entrusted himself to the hand of God. And God was faithful to deliver. He'll do the same for you and me. And then verse 19, it's a long verse, but it's a beautiful one. It says, how great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. Life is hard, but God is good. And God has goodness for us, stored up for us, because we fear him. We have a reverential awe of him that we live in and walk in. And then he says, you lavish it, the goodness of God, on those who come to you for protection blessing them before the watching world. And I love that. And if we could carry that into our day today, that's my prayer that there would be a sense of there's a watching world and there always is. There are people watching your life, people close to you, people that you don't even realize that you reach, that you touch every day. And to know that the Lord's blessing, God wants to pour out his blessing upon you, lavish it upon you, his goodness that he stored up for you. And he will do that. He will protect you and he will bless you for his glory before a watching world. So that's my prayer for us today, South Lake family and friends. Let's pray now. Lord, we commit this day in our way. We thank you. God, help us to entrust our spirit to you. We do that now. Help us to do it every step of the way today. Thank you for the blessing that will come as we live with you in your presence and follow you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for providing, for protecting, directing, and using us all today. We pray that for us, our families, and our church family in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Amen and amen. Well, God bless. Have a great day. I'll look forward to talking to you in the morning.